To continue our inspirational story segment, we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by one of New Zealand's best competitive divers, Shay Boddington, who, after 13 years away from the sport, mm. she is back on the board. Thank you so much for coming in, Shay. No worries. And bringing your gorgeous little girl as well. Hey, hey. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what's going on here. So what, what, Shay, how old were you when you started diving? Uh, I was about 11 when I started. And, um, and what, what, what captivated you about it? Um, well, actually, to be honest, my teacher, my PE teacher at school, this was when I was in Zimbabwe, I grew up there, I wanted to give up swimming and she said, well, you have to do something so you can do diving. So I said, OK, and so I'll we'll, give it a try. When we say diving, what sort of diving are we talking about? Springboard diving. OK. Yeah, not scuba diving. <laughs> no, no, I figured that one, but I don't think there's an Olympic sport or a Commonwealth Games sport for that one. Uh, so 13 years ago, uh, you stopped right before the 2004 Olympics <laughs> in Athens, didn't you? The gymnast. This is going to be the gymnast for, uh, in, the, in the future Olympics. Um, because you were suffering from bulimia. So yeah. what happened there? Yes, yeah, so I stopped um, just before Athens. I was just too sick to continue. Like it was basically, I just had to look after myself or I was, in my mind, I wasn't gonna make it. When did the bulimia so, start for you? I can remember the first time throwing up when I was about eight. So it was Gosh. really young and um, it wasn't like a, you know, it wasn't something that was very big in my life back then, but it was, you know, that, the memories there. So it was you yeah, know, as far back as, obviously as did. then. And did it reach, what was the breaking point where you realized that you had to do something, otherwise it was gonna be a really, bad place for you to be? Well, it was, I mean, I could feel in every part of my body that I was not going to last if I continued what I was doing. I was throwing up about 30 times a day and that just causes havoc. <laughs> so, and um, I mean, it was just absolute hell every day. And so I just had to do something about it, at least try to do something about it. I didn't know back then if I could recover or not. It just felt like such a um, consuming, uh, thing that I was going through. I didn't know if recovery was possible, but I had to try. Mm -hmm. And it was too hard when I was in TOGS every day. So, True. Yeah. That's a very good point. So what was it that, that was the turning point, I guess, in actually getting that help? Was it a person? Was it a service? What was it? It was basically just, I can't do this anymore. Right. Yeah. It was just that you, couldn't, you can't exist in that way. When you get to that sort of level of um, addiction, it's just, it takes over your life and there comes a point when the pain is just too great and you have to do something. And you're recovered so, now. And so yes. you're helping people all over the world with your vlogs and your blogs and everything. Yeah. It's obviously important to you to help others. Yeah, well, I get, um, when, I, when I recovered, it took a few years before I was comfortable to talk about it because it's something that a lot of people feel a lot of shame about. And so not many people talk about it openly. So you kind of go through this experience thinking that you're... That you're, but you, that you're completely crazy. Mm -hmm. And so I, it was important to me to speak about it and to let other people know that, you know, there's, um, there are other people going through the same thing and you can come out the other side. It's quite, a, um, it's quite a common belief that when you have an eating disorder, you have it for life and you, the best you can hope for is to learn how to manage it, yeah. which is, in my opinion, a load of rubbish. <laughs> so, Excellent. And you're yeah, back on the board now, which is great, isn't it? Yeah, yep. So I started back just about a year ago. And just just under a year ago, and it's been awesome. And what is that like? Is it like riding a bike? Do you do you remember everything? Well, to be honest, I thought it was going to be um, very rough. Like I just came back to get a few videos for this one because back when I used to dive, we didn't have a Look lot. Look what of... mummy can do. <laughs> yeah, just like something, you know, to show her because I didn't have any videos. And um, and I went back for one or two training sessions. I thought, and was surprised at how easily it came back and how much stronger I was now that I'm healthy, and um, how much I loved it. And connected with the New Zealand coach and he was like we kind of had a look at each other from across the pool and you said, like next minute. <laughs> okay so is it going to be Tokyo 2020? That's the goal yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm aiming for. Wow. Well, how amazing would it be to be standing on that board at those games? Yeah it will be it'll be unbelievable I never I never expected it that's the thing or even really considered it so it's kind of like it would just be yeah phenomenal. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, we wish you the best of luck yeah, with that. Absolutely. And, and just finally, if there's anyone sitting at home suffering from bulimia or worried about somebody else who's suffering, what advice would you give them? Um, so for women suffering from bulimia, I'd definitely say start trying to find stories about other women who have recovered. Re read as much as you can, you know, the positive stories about women who have recovered. And don't put it off until tomorrow. That's such a common thing as people, you know, women mm. say, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow. And as soon as something, as soon as they have a little setback or slip up, they completely give up on recovery because they're aiming for perfection. So I'd say aim for progress rather than perfection. And um, just, yeah. Start right this instant. Start right this, this instant, instant, exactly. And don't expect it to be perfect because it's going to be messy. Shay, thank you both so much for coming in.